Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'll show you everything you need to know about starting with trim sheets and decals using decal machine add-on for Blender. Let's go! Let's start with the very basics. We're gonna talk about installation, adding trim sheets or decal libraries and how to use them. So everything you need to know to get started. So first of all, you need to download the add-on from Blender Market or Gumroad. It's a paid add-on. There is a link in the video description. You can grab it. And once you do that, download it and I'll show you how to install it. You go here to edit and preferences and we're going to go to add-ons and install it. We're going to install it from a folder. So in the folder here on my downloads, I can see the latest version of Decal Machine. I'll click it, install add-on and wait a bit and click on this check mark here and you're done. So now Decal Machine is installed, but uh, when I'm going to save preferences here and close this window and go to my main window in Blender and press D, which is a shortcut for Decal Machine, you can see that you see no libraries. So the way to fix this guys is really easy, okay? You need to go here to uh, the Blender Foundation folder and find your uh, version of Blender you're using. We're using 3.4. This is under your PC, local disk users, uh, your name, update, a roaming, Blender Foundation and Blender. Open this 3.4 here, scripts, add-ons, decal machine, assets, decals, and these are the decals we need to update, okay? And if I go here into one of these, you will see that the... Uh, um, file here is outdated because it's IS21, it should be IS25 for this new version of Decal Machine. So the way to update this guys is really easy, you go here and open that and simply click update them all. It's gonna take a few seconds so wait until Decal Machine finishes updating and you should be good to go. Cool, so now we can see that Decal Machine has finished and we can now see the Decal libraries here so and also the trim sheet so I'll just save preferences and close that and now when i'm gonna go here press d you can see now i can see the libraries and i can see all the decals and also when i'm going to add some uh, kind of uh, shape here and go to edit mode um you can see that uh, we can also access our trim sheets okay so now let's talk about adding new trim sheets and decals to your decal machine library Let's go back here to preferences and uh, let's go to decal machine and here under this section you can see uh, the asset folder location at the moment is by default is located here in this update folder in the you know blender foundation folder right so again deep here under decal machine under uh, assets so if you have decals, you need to put them in decals. And if you have trim sheets, you need to put them into trim sheets. Now, the problem is that if you're using more than one version of Blender, Decal Machine is going to create a folder and every single uh, Blender folder here. So you're going to just bloat the space on your hard drive. You want to avoid it. So what you want to do is you want to create a custom folder on your desktop or somewhere else to which you can link all the versions of these blenders or the decal machines, right? So every single decal machine in each of these uh, blenders, because I'm running five blenders, you can see on the bottom here, um, links to the same folder, which is on my desktop. So what I wanna do is I wanna link it to that folder. So the way you do this, guys, you simply go to decal machine here and you copy that asset folder. You literally copy that to whatever you to wherever you want like on a desktop and you link to that folder to the asset folder okay so in my case if you um we look here i'm gonna go to desktop and go to 3d assets and you can see that here is an asset folder it's just basically custom uh, there's a custom name for it asset folder 3.0 which indicates blender 3.0 and above so i'll link it here accept and now my decals are linked to the new folder you can see now it updated i got some problems with decals here and there but it doesn't matter so let's just save that and we're good to go and now i can use all my decals now the only problem here is that you can see my decals running outside of the screen so we're gonna fix that by going here back to decal machine settings and adjusting these settings here we're gonna increase this to let's say nine and also decrease the uh 
size of the library icons to 4, uh, sorry, to 3. And let's just see now how this looks. That's much better. So it's going to cascade down. You can see more Deagle libraries in your window. So there you go. That's the basic settings of Deagle Machine. Now let's add more trim sheets or decals into our Deagle Machine. So what you want to do is you want to go to our website, which is blendablast.com. You want to go to products and you want to get our pack because, you know, the value is insane. This pack, which is uh, 460 decals and 12 trim sheets. Um, the value, total value is uh, $297. I can see there's an error here. We need to fix this on the thumbnails. So we need to 297. But we're selling it for 97 bucks, uh, which is pretty amazing. So you can save a lot of money. Buy that and download it. And once you do, you're going to have access to, like I said, 12 trim sheets and 460 decals, which come in folders. Now, the way to update your libraries is really easy, guys. You simply download the zip file, then you unzip it. And you'll see folders with decals and trim sheets. Now, trim sheets are marked trim. There's going to be BB trim and a number. There are 12 of them. And the QM simply stands for Quixel Mixer, which means these are trim sheets that are textured, okay? And you just simply drag and drop them into the folder here. So, you know, drag them into the trim sheet folder and decals into the decal folder. Now, if you open one of these, these are basically direct um, decal folders. So you can see here are decals. Uh, and in the bottom you got this IS, uh, IS25 uh, file. So this is it guys and when you drag them in and then what you need to do is if you have Blender open uh, what you need to do is to update your decal machine. Okay, So either close Blender and reopen it or click on this little icon here which will refresh the library here. So if you add something to your decal or trim sheet library while this is open and then you can just refresh this here and then save preferences and you should be able to see new libraries in your decal machine. So now let me show you how this all works. So we're going to add a sphere here, um, quad sphere with machine tools. And since I have no hard ups installed, I'm going to add mat manually. So do that and go here to render view, um, cycles or EV doesn't matter. We're in cycles, so we need to add a um, you know, add some material here. I mean, material, the uh, lighting, AGI. So let's go here to preferences, enable node wrangler because we will need it. Uh, so node wrangler and save preferences. Click on that node and press Ctrl T. And then we go here and well, you will need to download some HDRI files. You can do it from HDRIHeaven.com. I already have some on my hard drive. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm going to grab the abandoned slip away 4K, which is a very nice flat lighting and we're good to go. We go here to film, uh, turn on transparency so we don't have to see that. Put some plane on the bottom here like this. And so we have some uh, you know, foregrounds. Shift click this one, go to mod and copy that. Uh, separate this mod so we have duplicated mod and we're going to make this a bit more, you know, metallic. So we can see the decals being presented a bit better, okay? To add a decal to your scene, you need to select an object, press D, and you just, you know, click on the decal and you edit. Now you can see that the decal is floating above the surface. So what you need to do is you need to project it or shrink wrap it. So you can press D and then either shift click to shrink wrap it, or you can project it, which you do with Alt. So hold Alt, project and move your mouse a little bit outside here off of the surface and then click and this will project the decal onto the surface now depending on the subdivision level or like the curvature you know softness or smoothness you may or may not be able to apply the decal correctly you can see that we are clipping here a bit but we can fix it by going to d and holding alt and pressing adjust and then moving your mouse in and out you can actually move the decal a little bit off of the surface and then click and you're good to go okay now the thing you can do with decals you can change the colors of them especially when you have decals that have two colors uh, or two materials on them this one is only one material so let me just add some more complicated decal so we're gonna go here and add something a bit more complex like this one press d hold out click project and project it then d 
and alt and you can adjust it now if you don't want to readjust your decals what you can do you can add another level of subdivision because you can see it's a little bit jaggedy so press ctrl 2 to add more subdivision and then when you're going to add your decal so click on that and the alt and project boom now it's clean you see so the more subdivisions you have um the you know the cleaner the uh, the projection is gonna be so now let's make this plane a bit darker here and i will show you that uh, we can have actually uh two different colors on this decal so if i go here and click on that you can go to d and click on match and you can scroll through all the materials that are available in your scene and you can adjust the mat of this decal and create you know, a double color effect which is pretty cool now if you for example change color on this on this sphere so let's say we went here and made it really dark now you can see that our decal doesn't really fit uh, because the exterior here of this decal is actually of a different color it's really easy to fix that guys all you need to do is click on the decal press d and simply reapply this will reapply the new mod to this decal so really cool stuff now if you have multiple decals on your uh, mesh because that's also a possibility so let's grab this one shift d hold control and move it in here shift d hold control move it here then double click them which will select all of them d and you can project multiple decals the same with changing colors you can do this uh, with multiple so double click on one of them which will select all the decals of the same sort press d and reapply now there are other functions here like for example uh, using panels and panel cuts but this is a bit more advanced if you want to learn about more advanced stuff watch my other video on decal machine i'll talk about it over there let's talk about trim sheets guys okay so trim sheets work really well with uh, either subdeed mesh or any mesh that actually has quads on it so let's just uh you know let's just add um, auto smooth to it and go to edit mode ctrl r and add some loops now trim sheets uh, work in edit mode so i need to be in edit mode alt click a loop uh, to select the loop press d and then you can add the trim sheet now when you're gonna be adding trim sheets to an object that doesn't have trim sheets what you need to do is you need to hold alt okay so let's click on the trim sheet uh, let's choose one of these hold alt and then click this will allow decal machine to add a trim sheet only to the selected uh, area now when you have a trim sheet already added to your mesh uh, so you already have a trim sheet running on your mesh you can see here that we have a material 001 bb trim 3 you can actually uh, add trim to another part of your mesh without holding alt so you simply uh, you know select the trim click and add and that's how easy that is okay now let's say you wanted to change the trim sheet here all you need to do is press d go to trim sheet of your choice click on the trim you wanna you know apply and if you don't like that hold control and you can scroll through all the trims uh, in that trim sheet and uh, so this is pretty cool also what you can do you can click go to d adjust and now you can either press s to scale it okay you can also press G to move it and you can press F to flip it so you can flip the application of a trim sheet so there are different um, options you can choose here. you can see there's like a floating menu so you can explore that you can also move it on specific axes so go to D adjust and then G and for example Y or X or Z now let's say you wanted to remove the trim sheet here so what you can do is you can alt click that go to d and then unwrap to empty trim and this will remove this trim now let's say that you wanted to apply a text decal to this element here and you want it to mirror to the other side so if i'm going to apply a text decal here press g hold control and move it about okay and i'm going to press d alt project to the mesh then I want to mirror it to the other side. You can do it with machine tools, I think. I'm using Hardops and Box Cutter for this. Uh, so let me just install uh, Hardops very quickly because you know I can't live without Hardops. By the way, link to Hardops is in the video description. You can go ahead and grab it. I would recommend grabbing it in a bundle with Box Cutter. So click on the decal, shift click on the mesh, Alt X, and simply mirror. Now you will notice that uh, the decal is flipped. So the way to fix that 
um, what you need to do. There are many ways of doing it. You can actually do it while you're, while you're mirroring as well. But I want to show you how to fix that. So if you go to data here on the mirror, you will see that um, you have this mirror U option. If you click that, you know, you'll fix this um, problem. Basically flips the, the UVs of this decal, okay? Occasionally what happens is that you're going to be working with something really dark and you're going to have a very bright decal on it. If you want to drop down the brightness of it, you can go to here under mod to the alpha slider, hold shift, and you can actually change the alpha value on the decal. I do it quite often for uh, bright decals, like my, for example, Japanese uh, decals. This is a Japanese pack. They're really bright and, uh, you know, um, they're just too bright and I want to drop an alpha on them, usually to the, you know, this kind of a level so it doesn't stand out so badly. Now, when you have a decal that's rotated, um, and you want to rotate this decal to a specific angle, you press D, adjust, and simply scroll your mouse. Now, you have three levels of rotation. One of them is 45 degrees. And then you can hold Shift. It's going to be a bit slower. It's 15 degrees. When you hold Shift and Control, it's going to be by one degree. So you can really fine-tune it to whatever angle you want. And then, you know, Alt Project, and then Shift, click, Alt X, and Mirror, and... Uh, we're gonna have this text reversed again so we can fix it in here, okay? Another thing you can do with decals, guys, uh, the text decals, you can change color of them. So when you go here to material tab, you can slide the subsurface to max and then you can actually adjust the color of them here. You can even make them emissive if you want to. So you go here to emission and change it to, you know, certain color. So move the slider. Then you can adjust the value and actually create a massive decal, which is pretty cool. All right, so there you go. Now, in terms of massive decals, because you also have massive decals, um, like for example, these, these are fantastic for creating lightings. You can actually adjust the emissions as well. So D, Alt, Project, and you can change the st strength of this emission. Uh, press D and then adjust and E, and you can move your mouse left and right to adjust the strength of this emission. This is really good for uh, decals that come with colors because colors are really strong, okay? Color light is very strong. So if this is too strong for you, what you can do again is go here, adjust E, and you can dial it down a little bit, or you can really pump it up, you know, to some crazy values. Okay, guys, well, that's it for this video. I hope it's gonna help you out. This should solve 95% of your issues you may be having with Deco Machine and also, you know, help you to uh, understand how to apply trim sheets and decals uh, with Deco Machine to your models. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.